Hello and welcome to my new uh, script. It is IPv6 rotating squid proxy server and is also available for IPv4. Uh, all you have to do is this, this rotating proxy server automatically rotates the IPs uh, at every new request. So uh, let's begin. First upload the script to your server uh, and then uh, do this chmod uh, 777 and uh, then configure.x and menu.x once it's done then you have to uh, configure the server for that you will just type uh, dot forward slash configure.x and then the configuration initial configuration will start and it takes a little time according to the internet speed you have and the processors and codes and the RAM you have so once it's complete uh, you will be asked for uh, entering, you know, uh, some, uh, uh, you will be asked to enter the server's primary IP, enter the IP of your server, it is the primary IP, uh, IPv4 address, and then you will be asked to enter the port, and I recommend enter any port from 50,000 to 60,000, so usually I use 50,000, and once it's done, the next step will be now to uh, create the proxies, or generate the proxies uh, or adding the IPv6 addresses to your server so uh, in order to do that it's very simple all you have to do is to uh, just make sure that you know uh, you follow the directions properly okay then you run this you know, dot forward slash menu and the menu will be displayed and then with option one you will add the IPs to the server IPv6 addresses and here you must know your first octet you know the the mm, first uh, what you say subnet of this the IPv6 address the first four octets and then uh, you will be asked to enter the uh, uh, starting IPs so I here add the 0002 that means actually uh, for each mm, uh, for each block for each IPv6 block you have uh, six you have you have four uh, uh, four options right and uh, you can generate then 10,000 IPs in one go and same way in option 2 you have to add the IPs to the interface so that the IPv6 will be pingable and uh, since I have already added them that's why it's saying that the file already exists and then the next step is to create a user so here I'm just creating a test user and the password is testing so uh, once it's done I'll then apply uh, the changes using option 43 make sure you do this uh, uh, otherwise you know you won't be able to access the proxies so once it's done let's now check if the uh, rotating proxies are working we go to the uh, Mozilla Firefox or any browser you want then enter the IP uh, or the uh, primary IP and the port and then uh, create a new incognito uh, browser and then enter the username and password and then go to what's my IP here you can see that this is the IPv6 when I close this and create another request uh, with another browser instance so uh, here I go here and then check the IP again I'm not changing my IP or port uh, this port and IP are same but the IPv6 keeps you know rotating keeps changing uh, you know uh, at every request you know uh, you you just have to uh, make sure that you enter the proper username and password and then um, at every request or and every instance you will definitely be getting a new IPv6 address and this works actually for the IPv4 as well if you have an IPv4 pool on your server uh, this will uh, display a different IPv4 addresses rather than IPv6 so this is it this is how it actually works of, uh, uh, as a squid rotating proxies 
and uh, you can actually add as many as you want. If you have a slash 48 network, you can add millions and millions of IPs and they will be automatically rotated at every request. 